Basic School. I am your science teacher. We are in Chapter 9, Force and Laws of Motion. And these are the last word problems left with us. Let us see the first uh, 15th one is from where we have to start. Now if you see here we have said an object of mass 1 kg traveling in a straight line with a velocity 10 meter per second collides with a stationary wooden block of mass 5 kg. Then they both move together in a straight line. So you have to find out the combined velocity. So simply what they have given to you is they have given there is an object 1 whose mass is m1 is equal to 1 kg right and there is a stationary wooden block whose mass is 5 kg now the initial velocity this object is moving right if you see this object is moving with 10 meter per second and that object was stationary so it is 10 meter per second and this object is stationary and you have to find out combined velocity means v1 is equal to v because they both started moving together so definitely their velocity will be v and that is what we have to find out so again we have to use the same according to law of conservation of momentum okay m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so it is 1 into 10 plus 5 into 0 is equal to 1 into v plus 5 into v so it is called 10 plus 0 is equal to 6 v right so 10 is equal to 6 v simply v is equal to 10 upon 6 so v is equal to 2 5 za and 2 3 za so it's 5 5 3 which we when do calculate it's 1.6 meter per second six seven okay so that is how you get the first answer so that is the combined velocity what they are talking about okay now let's see the next one there is an object of mass 100 kg is moving uh, is, is accelerating accelerated in uniformly for the velocity so initial velocity is 5 meter per second accelerated so its speed increases to 8 meter per second in 6 seconds so basically we have given mass m that is 100 kg u is given as 5 meter per second v is given as 8 meter per second and time is given as 6 second okay we have to find out initial momentum final momentum and force so pi initial momentum pf final momentum and force f now initial momentum is quite easily that is mu so 100 into 5 that is 500 kg meter per second pf mv 100 into 8 that is 800 kg meter per second then force so for that we need that acceleration what is acceleration v minus u upon t so it is 8 minus 5 upon 6 so it is 3 upon 6 1 upon 2 when f is equal to meter per second square f is equal to ma m is what 100 into 1 upon 2 so it is 50 newton that's it so the sums are quite easy if you just understand all the formulas put the quantities properly it's quite easy okay let's see the last one how much momentum will a dumbbell 
right you know what is the dumbbell so momentum we need to find out first of all we given mass tra tra transferred it to floor so basically dumbbell is heading to a floor from height 80 centimeter so basically we have to find out momentum mass is given as 10 kg distance is given as 80 centimeter which we need to convert it into meter so it is 0 0.8 meter right divide by 100 now you know when you are holding a dumbbell right in your hand so at that point its initial velocity is 0 okay and they have given us acceleration as 10 meter per second square so here we first find out final velocity then only we can find out momentum so we in order to find out this we use this formula v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so we can write we know that or according to the equations of motion you can write both the statement v square this is 0 square 2 a is 10 and s is 0 0.8 so v square is equal to 2 into 10 into 8 upon 10 so this 10 and 10 get cancelled v square is equal to 16 v is equal to 4 meter per second now uh, momentum p is equal to mv so mass is 10 and v is 4 so it is 40 kg meter per second that's it okay so with this we have completed our chapter i hope you understand what i'm trying to say if you have any queries you can feel free to reach out to me yeah thank you have a good day